The death toll stands at 56. The coronavirus already in 20 countries with 169 deaths in Wuhan, 7,189 confirmed cases globally. Immigrations have put a temporary suspension on online visas and visas on arrival. National airline carrier Air New Guinea also putting in restrictions. Air New Guinea is stating that they are working closely with the national government and stakeholders in the countries where Air New Guinea fly to. That includes Hong Kong, Manila and Singapore. Stating that they will not be picking up any passengers who have come out of Wuhan City. But they have advised those who do come in from Hong Kong, Manila and Singapore, health declaration forms will be collected by health and quarantine authorities. Meanwhile, PNG students in Wuhan are still waiting to be evacuated. To live and to enter Wuhan, it's impossible right now. Like You cannot live unless, um, your, uh, unless our embassies and our government intervene. As far as I know, some of my friends who are also foreign nationals here, their government has intervened and they're actually going to be leaving anytime soon, like today or tomorrow. So they're just waiting to leave. So um, if evacuation happens, if they can move us to a safer spot, that is fine. If they can evacuate us back home, that is also fine. But we just need to be out of Wuhan. The Department of Foreign Affairs Secretary on Monday stating they will do everything they can to assist the 21 students. The um, government's uh, endorsement, but of course uh, it's an immediate need for our um, citizens in a foreign country. And of course, look, we will be doing everything possible to um, support their needs. The Department of Foreign Affairs releasing a statement that the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Patrick Pryde, will be seeking cabinet support for assistance of students in Wuhan. This comes after the embassy in Beijing told media here in PNG that they had no funding to assist those students. Meanwhile, Foreign Affairs has stated they will continue to consult with all stakeholders, including relevant authorities. Adelaide Sirakskari, National, MTV News.